Okay. Just with the lid off, uh, it's not taking too long here because it's it's so warm in here that stuff's melting right off the protectors really fast. But I want you to see how much crap that's keeping out of that CV joint. Because those, you get a look in here from the back. Uh, I know it's hard to see that, but I'm going to try to see if I can get in on it and focus. With that shaft right there, right there, is going in to the hub. That's all clean. And that's the point. So, anyways, now I gotta clean her up. That's when that big tank of air in the other room comes in handy. So, I just prop it up because you know how everything on this thing all runs to the back. So, one of my little, uh, where is it, one of my little secret weapons here that help it's, uh, can's empty, but it's, um, it's actually that stuff that you spray on your snowblower to help the snow to stop, not stick to it, that spray. Actually cover everything with that and makes a huge difference on the buildup. Get it. 
piggyback shock held up, but the uh, that spot where I told you I drilled and tapped out and put a five millimeter bolt in that other rear shock, uh, that didn't take it. So I am gonna end up through bolting. That new turtle air filter that uses the uh, Baja filter, the alloy one, which uh, wraps it around and uh, saves space on the, the whole deal with the reed case um, and with the issue that we have with the uh, body. But that little homemade, uh, my little homemade pocket that I made here in the um, I don't know if you can see it this little homemade pocket that I made for the air filter can't tell here can you oh yeah right here this is actually helping I sealed up underneath here there's a piece of shit that fell here now but that's where my air filter sits and it's sealed from the bottom so it actually is doing some good um, but you know when you when you beat on it like we just did, it's not much, you know, crisis. Uh, pretty hard to keep everything out of it. This whole thing will basically be about, I'll be dinking around here, drying this all out and everything for about, uh, you know, a good half hour. And then she'll be, I won't have to worry about it. And I'll go through and find out what come loose or what, uh, you know, issues. I'll throw it up on the uh, stand and we'll give it a real good look over after we get the heavy off it. But, I see that, I'm seeing here that my, uh, a break, looks like we lost a, uh, a break pot, seems to have rattled loose, which is not a surprise when you're running the, uh, that reed case like that, wide open with an 18 tooth pinion. She's vibrating, heavy, heavy on the duty. Yeah, you guys got things to do. You got, you can't. Oh, you guys, oh, you don't have, I'm just saying, you don't have to. All right. You know, I'm not telling you let it go, but you don't feel like you gotta hang around. Go okay. do, do something fun. All right. Enjoy your day off. Thanks for the help, brother. We'll see you if you go back outside later. You know it. how we get our nice heat there.
looks like I looks like I gotta deal with both of those rears. Both rears. Both rears are gonna take some some effort to get right. Come on. Come on, baby. Try not to have a big shaky video here for you. That's not terrible. Yeah, boy, that that set up the way the fronts work, man. So sweet. I wish I had that that same spot in the back. But uh, but anyways, yeah, that's it. That's basically. That right there is basically what it what it's all about right now. A lot of air and a lot of heat. ceiling fan uh, actually I normally come in and when, I, when I'm doing this I reverse it so she's going and blowing down on us you know what I mean for normal just keeping the shop warm it's up so these uh, on all my servos I coated all my seams with uh, a real fine layer of um, chugu. Looks like the, uh, the new front shock held up. That's cool. Take a look at that wheel with the 